The New Zealand economy had a mixed 2015, started off the year with that relatively low growth, growth only printed at about 0.6% in the first half of 2015, uh, but then on the back of that, that enabled financial conditions to ease as the exchange rate fell uh, and interest rates uh, were cut. Uh, that means the second half of 2015 is likely to print uh, somewhat higher. We think that higher growth will consolidate into 2016 so that we'll likely see growth of around 25 to 3% uh, over the course of, uh, of the next year. Uh, inflation will move higher uh, as uh, prior falls in uh, oil prices from early 2015 um, drop out of the annual calculation, uh, but also as uh, the lower exchange rate feeds through into higher uh, retail prices. Core in uh, inflationary pressures though will uh, remain relatively low uh, and that's why we've seen the Reserve Bank able to cut interest rates again uh, and they've now cut interest rates four times, uh, uh, taking the official cash rate back down to 2.5%, it's historical low. Uh, we think interest rates remain relatively stable at that uh, level through the course of 2016. If the bank is forced to do anything anytime soon, it's more likely to be a cut as the risks in the, in the early part of 2016 to growth are to the downside, especially with the prospects uh, of drought. Uh, we think uh, bond yields will follow global yields higher, which will probably keep, uh, most likely keep uh, returns in that sector uh, relatively uh, subdued. Uh, but we think the uh, the share market can have another uh, another good year. Uh, it's re reached record highs over the course of 2015, but the positive growth environment means the market can move higher. Although we think it's probably likely to um, to underperform global um, global equities.